The AFC North is full of talent, controversy, and bitter rivalries. For the first time in a while, they also have four competent teams. However, there is no clear-cut favorite to win the division. First, we're going to start off with the Cincinnati Bengals. They're the reigning division champs and were just a few plays away from winning their first Super Bowl. On the offensive side of the ball, the Bengals just need to repeat what they did last year. And as long as the Burrow to Chase connection is working, they shouldn't have much of a problem. But my only potential issue is the play calling. Zach Taylor caught a lot of heat last year for his play calling, especially in the Super Bowl. But on the defensive side of the ball, things are a little more tricky. I love Trey Hendrickson and Jesse Bates, but some other players need to step up. I could definitely see Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt, or Chidobe Awuzie doing so. It would be nice if Eli Apple would step up, but I'm not betting on it. Lastly, I'm worried about a Super Bowl hangover for Cincinnati. We've seen many teams like Carolina and Atlanta never be the same after a Super Bowl loss. Next up is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are definitely in one of the weirdest situations in the NFL. The Steelers have a solid roster if you don't count quarterback or offensive line. They have a bottom five offensive line to protect two quarterbacks that need all the help they can get. Pittsburgh drafted Kenny Pickett in the first round this offseason and also signed Mitchell Trubisky. At the moment, it seems to be Money Mitch's job to lose. The Steelers have plenty of playmakers, so Trubisky really only needs to play average to have some success. On the defensive side of the ball, they need to continue to generate pressure and stay in the top 10 for pass defense. But Pittsburgh finished dead last in rush defense last year, so that has to change. They also let up the 13th most points in the league. I expect 2022 to be a transitional year for the Pittsburgh Steelers. If I were a fan, I wouldn't expect to make the playoffs, but rather to see progression toward a quick turnaround. Then we have the Baltimore Ravens. The first link in this description will take you to a playlist that already has two videos on the Ravens that you can watch after this one. But the Ravens have a championship level roster and a championship level head coach. But most importantly though, they need to stay healthy. Last year, they had 30 different players miss time due to injury. And before Lamar Jackson's injury, his touchdown to interception ratio was only 16 to 13, which isn't gonna cut it. Lamar definitely needs to fix that ratio, but I expect him to. Last year, the Ravens had the worst pass defense, but the best run defense. When healthy, they were 6th in pass defense, though, and 7th overall. So realistically, they should again be top 10 this year. When it comes to coaching, I like the gutsy calls from John Harbaugh, but sometimes it's better to send the game to overtime. Overall, I could definitely see the Baltimore Ravens being a powerhouse this season. And to top off the AFC North, we have the Cleveland Browns. And first off, let's talk about the elephant in the room. At the time of recording, Deshaun Watson has been suspended for the first six games of the NFL season. However, after the NFLPA made their decision, Roger Goodell and the NFL appealed that ruling. They are looking to get him suspended at least a year, if not more. So as of right now, Jacoby Brissett is the guy. But I've also heard that if Deshaun Watson is going to be suspended for more than the original six games, that the Browns may be interested in trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. So we're just going to assume that Jacoby Brissett is the Browns quarterback for 2022. And if that's so, Brissett's job shouldn't be that hard. The Browns have a phenomenal offensive line with good weapons like Nick Chubb, David Njoku, and Amari Cooper. The Browns also had a statistically top five defensive season last year too. So there is the outside chance that if Jacoby Brissett plays well, which he has in the past, the Browns can sneak into the playoffs. However, the AFC is really tight this year. I mean, we could see four teams out of the AFC West make the playoffs. And we could see at least two teams from this division make it. So it's going to be an interesting year to watch. And that's my breakdown of the AFC North. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.